Hello everybody, this is Mike Junior the Second, and today we're going to be playing just a little bit of uh, Kirby's Air Ride. So if you've uh, never played Kirby's Air Ride before, it is an act it is actually a very different kind of kart racer kind of game. Uh, kind of weird that, you know, Nintendo decided to, you know, make this kind of a game. Um, it, it's just weird for Nintendo to make this kind of a kart racer type of game when, you know, they already had the Mario Kart series, F-Zero. But for some reason, they decided to make this, and in all honesty, while I don't think the regular, you know, kart segments are, you know, fantastic, they're fun, but I don't think they really beat Mario Kart, there's one specific mode here that makes Kirby Air Ride fucking fantastic. Now, uh, first things first, I want to say I am actually recording this off the Dolphin emulator, but I do own this game, I, I absolutely fucking own this game, I love this game to death. Um, but really the best way to get the best kind of footage is to take stuff off the Dolphin, especially because the Dolphin, uh, the, the Dolphin emulator can actually record, it can actually output games at 60 frames per second. Um, I'm also recording off FRAP, so it's going to cause a little bit of lag in the graphics, but I'm only recording at 30 frames per second anyway, so it really shouldn't matter. But no, the, the best part about this game, it's, it's not the regular, the regular kart racer, which it is fun. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying that I, I do think Mario Kart's better overall. Top right is weird. You know, I'm sure there, there are people out there that like this part, but eh. City Trial. This is the fun one. This is the best one. So, uh, before we even go in, the first thing, interesting thing, thing to note is that even though Nintendo hasn't really done, um, overall, even though Nintendo really hasn't done achievements for uh, the past two console generations, well, I, I don't really know with the Switch coming up. Apparently, at the very least, Sakurai, because he loves this kind of shit, um, Sakurai did achievements way beforehand with this game where little checklists che uh, checklists in different sections of the game that you've played. Uh, this one's for the first section, then you have the top one, and whatever. And in all honesty, something that I've always wanted to do, at the very least with City Trial, is to get all the checklists in this area. It's just, it's always been a dream of mine to get that, and you know, I, I, like I said, you know, I say it a lot of times with tons of different things if I ever start to stream, but I think this is another one of those games that I would, like, start to stream if sh shit like that would happen. I'd probably even play it off the Dolphin emulator, because as I've said, it, it's hard to get games to look good on the Wii, on, on the uh, GameCube, unless you have an old Wii around, and I don't have mine anymore, sadly. So anyway, we're just going to start the game. Oh, you know what? Fuck me. I didn't... I was going to make it uh, the longer time, but I guess we'll stick with uh, two five-minute matches. Now, the most interesting thing here is that this is not scripted in-game footage, you know, in-game footage. They recorded this themselves, and in all honesty, it is horrible. Like, look at it. Like, I get that I, I'm not, I'm not, I am outputting this game at a weird, uh, at a different resolution than what the GameCube could normally do, and also just overall, uh, I think I have some filters on top of it as well, but it's just so weird how fucking slow this shit works. Like, it's just like, or just how ugly this shit looks. It's like, why did Nintendo even do this kind of thing before? But, um, besides that, this is a fantastic fucking section for kart racing and stuff. Anyway, I think we've seen enough. Really don't have to go through all of that. And yeah, so basically the way it works out is that you start off the level as normal. You just, uh, start off with, uh, a regular kart. It's not even the regular Warp Star. It's kind of the lesser Warp Star. I think it only shows up in this section. And you collect these little power-ups to power up your thing. Oh, there's a regular Warp Star. I will actually grab that. Though I do believe I lose all of my, all of the upgrades that I've gotten on. Because I think your upgrades only stick to one cart, I believe. So therefore you lose them when you go to a different cart. Which is why if you don't find a cart within the first minute, uh, stick to the one you have and hope that you don't need anything special. So, anyway, I, I absolutely adore this game. And the only reason I'm recording, like I said, the only reason I'm recording this game is because it's very difficult and very expensive to get GameCube games to actually look good. And the Dolphin emulator is probably, like, the second best emulator, like, of all time. Like, for 3D games. Because I, the only other one I can think of that might, that that's probably better is the PlayStation emulator. But other than that, it's like, because, because, because even the, even the Nintendo 64, you know, as much as we all love it, I'm not saying it's bad at all. But as much as we love the Nintendo 64, holy shit, it is just, ugh. It does not do that well, and it doesn't look like there's any good power-ups down here. Though I do think there's a model of the city right over here or some shit like that, yeah. Don't know why that's down here, it really doesn't do anything. Would've been nice if it did, but, yeah. So, wow. Really, guys? Really? And for some reason, I don't know if it's because of the emulator, but Kirby Flash is red a lot like he's dying. Oh, I know you usually get it after a power-up, but I don't think I have an- Oh, no. I'm getting it. I don't give a fuck. I'm getting it. This is my favorite cart. I love the wing one. 
It looks like I got lost shit when I got out of here. Is that like... So do you keep your stuff? Do you... Oh, maybe it's if you switch and you don't get it destroyed. But yeah, this is my favorite one. I forgot the name of it. It's like bird something. But this is my absolute favorite card. It has very good flying ability and it is absolutely beautiful. So, uh, favorite one, I usually always go for it when I can unless it's at the very end of a level. And sadly, there's no red boxes up here. Uh, the best thing about red boxes is that not only do they contain a power-up, like a Kirby power-up, which is a little bit different in this game, they, they only last for a short period of time. And I think they're, I mean, they can really be anything and there's not every ability in the game. I don't even think there's the beam ability in this game. It's probably one of the few times it's actually not in a Kirby game, thinking about it. No, not really. Unless you count, uh, I think 64 is actually the only other game that really didn't have that ability. Thinking about it now. Because <laughs> it was only technically in uh, Dreamland 2 and 3. So. But uh, the reason why I'm actually doing this, people are like, hey, Michael, why the fuck are you just playing this out of the fucking nowhere? You just kind of fucking felt like it? Like, no. I have a Kirby video I'm going to be coming out with soon, and I, I have... I'm talking about a lot of other Kirby games in the process, and I figured that um, I'm going to want footage from those games. So I don't know if this is this will be the only one I'll record and kind of put it on YouTube. This one's being recorded with Fraps. I really had to turn down the fucking music in this game. It is loud. But I'm not sure if it's... Um, I don't know if I'll record the other ones and put them on YouTube, but I, I have a lot of different shit to record. And because of that, I'm just like, ah, you know what, I'm just going to... Um, you know, because I have a lot of shit to record, I might as well just kind of show it to you guys. And, uh, or no, um, yeah, I might as well just kind of do a video and stuff. And plus, I wanted to show just the how the Dolphin emulator is. Because, not gonna lie, it's pretty good, really. It just has a few laggy moments, but it's not actually in the gameplay. It's at the menus, which is really weird. Now, can I at least show off the... No, I lost it. Damn it. That probably had one, too. Oh, and this is a special thing. There's usually a mysterious flying machine is approaching. Uh-oh. We were actually in the perfect area just for that, so let's go. I like, the, I like the music. But yeah, there's usually special occasions that show up, and oh my god. Aliens! I told you they were coming. They were after my brain all along. All right, so don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me, bro. So what you want to do... Oh, shit. It isn't this one. I thought it was this one. Is it a little over to the... Uh, don't get hit by those things. They usually destroy your cart. At the very least, it'll be fucking painful. I guess it changes. Yep. You want to go across on this thing. And now you can get on top of this thing. It has a bunch of power-ups on top. But the very important one is that one. It is the all one. It increases everything. There's a bunch of different power-ups. I'm not really going to explain them all. I just, I just don't have enough time for it. But, um... Oh, come on. Yeah, fuck it. I'm just wasting time being up here. What the hell? Oh, I think I'm... It's leaving, so I can... It's leaving the barrier, so I have to get around it. Here we go. <laughs> Another thing you can do is... Ah, oh, I missed it. You can destroy that star and a bunch of power-ups shoot up out of it. So what do you do? But, now there's a lot of cards in this game, and just this section is just particularly fun because you just get to power up your... You get to find a machine, you get to power it up... And then you get to take it on after this, so if the time runs out, we have a little special, uh, we have a little special thing that we get to fight with. Um, if you already fought it, you actually have the ability to just make sure that, you, oh, I want to do this one for sure, if you like, especially if you're trying to get the achievements and such. Rather than defeat as many enemies as you can, oh, no, this is, this isn't the best uh, level for me. I haven't played it, oh, no, get some lag here, uh-oh. Probably not the best one for me, what the hell? Oh, am I pushing? I was pushing the wrong button, that's why. Oh god, the lag. No, I'm sorry, folks. I didn't mean to do this. I didn't know I was going to do this to you guys. Oh, there we go. And it's just all the enemies. I only have three defeated enemies. Come on. There we go. Sword would be the best ability to have, and I keep getting fucked. Oh no, I got plasma now. Uh, Plasma is just like Plasma in other games. You can, um, if you do the thing back and forth, you can shoot out a giant little ball of lightning, which is beautiful. Aiming it isn't the best, but it does something at the very least. I am way far behind that one. I already lost my stuff, so it really doesn't matter. I'm probably going to lose this, sadly. Sadly! <laughs> this isn't this isn't my best area to win at. I most, mostly because I have... Uh, the, the control in this game is weird. I'm not going to say it's totally bad, but I'm not going to say it's good either. It's just kind of here there. 
Yeah, look at that. Everybody else got fucking 38, 34, 17. And they're at level fucking 3, so what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> Last place, motherfucker. Like I said, not, not my favorite. I've only been playing this game a little bit recently. And, you know, just for, just for decent looking footage, honestly. To show for like 5 seconds in a fucking Kirby video. <laughs> But, uh, and honestly, I think I already got it. I, when I was testing this, I played a level beforehand, and I, I did exactly what I wanted to do. And I was like, oh, well, fuck, I still want to record this for you guys, because it just looks so good. And, yeah, I mean, if you guys are interested, I, I'll gladly, uh, maybe do with some extra moments. Kind of just do a little showy, you know, a little showing thing of the, uh, of, uh, Kirby's Air Ride, just for fun. And if you're curious what these power-ups do, they just increase your, oh, nope, that disappeared. Uh, there's a fist one, and a, there's a shield one. It just increases your uh, defense and stuff and attack for a short period of time. Damn it. Okay. So, yeah. So, the only way you can do certain things, like, oh, I want to stop or turn, like, like hard turn, you have to stop and basically almost always break. And it's kind of annoying, but it's just the way the game is, sadly. This is the wheel ability. There's also the wheelie, like, the partner from, uh, Superstar. Um, he actually has his own bike in this, which is pretty cool, honestly. Come on. So, yeah, turning is a little bit difficult, but once you do get the hang of it, like, I haven't played in a long-ass time. But, uh, once you get the hang of it, it's a lot of fun. Oh, got the bad turn one. What do you do? You usually get good power, depending on, if you know where to look, and, you know, it's been a while for me, so I'm just like, uh, but if you know where to look, you can get a lot of good shit. And the achievements are pretty crazy sometimes, because it's like, oh, you need, like, ten of the charging, you ten, ten of the charging, which charges that thing, FYI. Like, yeah, but, like, ten charging, and, like, fucking, um, one of them is, like, you saw Dynablade there, for, no fair, the box is all contained, oh god, what is it? God, this is one of the worst ones to get, unless it helps with something. But if it's a bad one, I'm just curious now. We gotta see it. Oh, hey! I could get that. A, I could get that little achievement. And I got this thing, which is basically the. It's funny because it's like the cannon from uh, Return to Dreamland, but before Return to Dreamland was a thing. Then again, it is possible that it, it was because uh, technically the. Oh, hey, that actually has still has the piece in it. So, yes, there's a special three pieces. There are two different bikes in this game. There's a special three pieces. And if you, um... And if you get three of those pieces... There's two different bikes and three different pieces for that bike. Uh, funny enough, while I was recording this, uh, I got so fucking unlucky because the mother... F the I literally got I literally got everything, which, which is an achievement, by the way, is getting both of them. I got both of them in five minutes, but... And it was the last second that I got the last of it, but... I got hit a few seconds beforehand and lost it. Motherfucker. But if you've ever played uh, Brawl or uh, Super Smash Bros. Uh, U, or 4 Wii U, I don't know, Smash 4. Yeah, I, forgot, I forgot the name people used. But if you've ever played that or Smash 4 or something, you'll you'll see that I think, I think the name is the Hydra. And it actually comes from this specific game, and same thing with the whole checklist thing, which is also in uh, Kid Icarus and uh, Smash 4 as well. So, you know, uh... Which is why I believe that, and because it's in specifically Kid Icarus, that I do believe that it's us. It, it's Sakura specifically likes the um, likes the whole uh, idea of having the carts um, or having the checklist thing. So he, so again, he he did achievements before achievements were cool, and then Nintendo's like, nah, bro, and he's like, well. I'm gonna make my own company now, but I'm still gonna work on Smash Brothers because I'm weird like that. <laughs> it's funny because he left he left Nintendo and, and Hal after uh, Brawl because he, he was tired of making fucking uh, sequels to games. He wanted to make new games. And honestly, it, it's weird hearing a developer say... Well, not necessarily weird for a developer, but it's no surprise in this kind of industry where literally everything has to be a sequel to something for the most part. I, I mean, like, when the Switch was announced, a, a lot of people were complaining... Like, oh, Nintendo's just going to be reusing old nostalgia and franchises again. And and the only thing I can ever think about is, do you do realize that almost every game, especially new game that came out... Aw, oh, fucking... Fucking fog, I hate this one. Maybe we get the bike? Maybe? Nope. Spikes. Alright, I'm going to try a few different locations that should have it. So let me see if I can get my hands on it. Or I could get the other piece. No idea what the fuck I'm seeing here. Okay, I'm by the buildings... Oh god, no, 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 I don't, don't, don't want to really be here, here. Let's see if this has it. Nope, damn it. It's the one by there. Okay, what I'm gonna do... 
is... We don't have a lot of time. Okay, here we go. I need to get my ass inside of the... Here we go, okay. I'm gonna be on the grind rail, and we're gonna try to get my ass... Yeah, we're not we're not gonna get it. Nope, and I and I fell on that thing, damn it. Because usually a lot of the boxes underneath the ground and then the volcano have the specific thing. So what do you do? All right, and a level. So I got close to getting the the second piece, which isn't in brawl. It's it's the other prettier looking one. So we got minus one turn, thirteen charge. I'm pretty sure an achievement is getting ten charge. So target flight. Ooh, fly and hit the number boards. See, this would be perfect with the other fucking card I had. You can you can get the achievement where you get two hundred points in this level. You can easily get it on the outside because you can you can challenge these on the outside. You just don't get the power ups. Okay. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. I fucked that up. That's the thing. It closes and it. Uh, what do you do? By the way, you can't jump off your vehicle and move around, but really the only time Kirby ever went 3D, 3D. So, alright, now it's just whether or not... Where's the thing at? Oh, it's down there. Fuck it. Fuck it! Just gonna go for the 50. Might as well. Maybe I can at least get fucking third. Oh no, these guys totally fucked up. I got first. How the fuck did I do that? <laughs> you guys suck. You kicked my ass at the other one, but ah, no. First place here, fuck no. Yep, ten or more uh, charge patches. Yep. Yeah, I remember some of the achievements in this game. I never got really that close. I remember one I was working on. Oh god, there's this one fight in the little game settings where you fight DDD and oh no. Uh, this one you can just cruise around the stadium on your own. Uh, yeah, this one allows you to take on the things. Like, like let's say I could be like, oh okay, and here's like basically literally all the carts in the game besides the really good ones and Meta Knight. Yes, you can get Meta Knight as a cart. You don't ride him, you just play as Meta Knight and he constantly has the sword ability. So Winged Star, that was the name. Yeah, they did show up in, I believe, the last few episodes of Kirby right back at you. Yeah, the wheelie bike. Wheelie scooter, which is... Oh yeah, that's right, there are technically two different things. That one was in the ending to Superstar. And Rex Wheelie, I don't think was in any game, I just think he's there. Here now. And the Swerve Star is fun because it just goes fast and it completely stops when you need to turn. You can't turn, it's, it's like a crazy cart. So, it's a really fast one, so. Anyway, let's see whether or not we can get the 100. You just gotta, gotta get good flight. Bam! We're so vanilla right now, we have no patches. <laughs> I need my patches, man. <laughs> the nicotine's getting to me. Okay, well, oh, it had to be fucking down there. Ooh! Ah! Oh. Had, to, had to fucking do that to me, game. Now everybody's gonna call me a loser and be like, you can't play the game. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, in case anybody's curious, I'm basically done recording Fallout New Vegas. I got, I have one more thing to do. Oh, oh, can we get it? Can we get it? What the fuck? It's always closed. Do I need to, like, wait half a second? That's crazy. That's fucking crazy. Stupid game. But, uh, wait, why is best record at zero points? Do you have to take these on without power-ups? That's stupid, especially because some of these races are actually inside of fucking Kirby, uh... Some of these races are legitimately from Air Ride, no, 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 no joke at all. So, uh, anyway, that's basically it. Um, yeah, what the hell was this thing with the land? Could you actually play, like, City Trial online? Because that's what I absolutely want. Which is why I was, like, half pissed off when Nintendo decided to use uh, the, the Rosalina and Luna fucking reveal. They use fucking Kirby Air Ride music in the beginning of it. I'm like, oh my god, are we fucking getting that sequel? And like, don't get me wrong, you know, it's cool to have Luna in the game. And Rosalina and fucking, um... You know, Smash, Smash 4 was really good. I love it to death as well. But, you know, just, just personally, you know, personally, I absolutely fucking hate the fact that they got my goddamn hopes up for a, another Kirby Air Ride game. Because this game, City Trial would be so much fun in online mode. Like, this needs to be a thing. Like, I, I, I praise this game just for City Trial Mode alone. So anyway, I do hope you guys have enjoyed the video. I know it's a little bit weird and out of place for me to make something like this. But like I said, I'm getting footage for stuff. And I figured it'd be fun just to kind of have this and get it out of the way. So, uh, yeah, I might do other Kirby stuff if you guys want me to. Because I'll, I'll be, uh, all, all my uploads are already set for uh, New Vegas. All the ones that I have uploaded are set. So this will be in between on, like, Tuesdays and Thursdays and shit. Because uh, the, the schedule, at least if not now, coming up is Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And so far, at least until we're done 
with one of the DLCs, which um, which will be coming up soon. Um, on uh, Wednesdays, there'll be two episodes a day, just a little bit further after another. So, uh, yeah, anyway, other than that, I do hope you guys have enjoyed this. If you want to see more uh, Kirby Air Ride and stuff, I will definitely uh, consider it and whatnot. But uh, if not, that's fine, you know. Uh, that That's cool. I, I don't really take any offense to it. it. I'm sure the gameplay would get boring after a while, which is why it'd be more fun as kind of a stream kind of thing. But uh, anyway, I do hope you guys have enjoyed. I will catch you guys next time. This is Mike Jr. the Second, signing out.